Hey there fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today we're going to talk about is market testing. Basically, how do we go out and see if our products are going to be a success? How, how, do we, how do we know, should I sell this movie as a romantic comedy or an adventure or a sci-fi action flick? What should I do? Do I, do I sell this new burger as a healthy alternative or do I sell it as a non-meat alternative or do I sell it as the, the safest thing to eat at your local restaurant? What do I need to do? And so what companies do is they actually do test marketing. They see how things work. And we have a video on how to test market, not to test market, when to do that. We have that. But in general, on this video, what I want to talk about just in general is what are market tests and, and what are some types of market testing we might have. And the thing is, sometimes you actually market test or you do test marketing before the product even exists, before you put it out there on the market or anything. So it's called a pre-market test, okay? Here what you're gonna do is you run tests with potential clients and you talk to them about what your product is, how do you think it's gonna work. You might test things out beforehand to gauge their interest, okay? So you might do a, a survey of your customers, ask them, so so what do you think that a movie with Captain America and Iron Man should be sold as? A buddy movie? A superhero movie? Another part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? What do you think? And so you'll test market it that way and get their opinions out there. And the thing is, the information you gain from your clients really help you better understand how it should be sold. Because if you don't know how your clients are going to see it, well, you might have some problems, okay? And the thing is, there's a lot of companies like Nielsen, they'll do pre-test marketing to see, hey, what do people think of this product? So for example, if I'm going to sell a product that's from the Midwest, is there a certain kind of motif or kind of atmosphere or kind of vibe I need to have versus something that is gonna be sold from California or if it's sold from Italy, right? You're like, oh, if it's from Italy, well, it should have like cool style and stuff like that. There needs to be like an Italian flag or maybe the Leaning Tower of Pisa, something needs to show that it's Italian. You learn these things out there from early test marketing. The thing is you'll see is sometimes with big movies, they might actually do some test screenings before the movie's even done filming to see how is the audience feeling? Are they are they liking this fight scene? Are the jokes hitting right? Yes or no? And then what happens with this pre-market test, we figure these things out and realize, you know what? We need to change the ending of the movie. We need to package it differently. We need to sell it in a different way because people are seeing it in something different. So you're doing all this stuff before the product's even out. You're just getting ideas and making changes, okay? Now, on the other side of things, you actually do a test market. And what this basically is, is a firm really goes out and it goes into a kind of a small market and sells their products and see what works. So we might test it in one market when we try to sell our new hamburgers, you know, the, the non-beef burgers, right? We go to one market, we sell it as the non-beef alternative. We go to another market, we sell it as the healthy alternative. We go to another market, we sell it as something completely different. And we see what works, right? We see like, did they like it this way? Which one got people to buy it more? Also, you might see that with burgers. They might set, they might test market in one area where it is burger, cheese, ketchup, mustard, pickle, relish, you know, this way. But another market, they put they put the cheese first, then the lettuce, then the burger, and they might test it in different ways. But they're going out there and having kind of a mini product launch to see if it's working or how it's gonna work or what would work best when we commercialize it and put it all out there for the entire world. Because we wanna see is what's gonna work best. And the thing is, when we look at specific test markets, there's three I wanna kinda of talk about. One you have is called a simulated test market. This is where you're basically faking it. So you might look at some grocery stores, they might actually have a fake store, a simulated store set up will they test out different configurations where do we put the potato chips where should we put the refrigeration part you know the freezer section where do we do that and they test out have you know have customers come through in this kind of fake store to see how they shop does put in the frozen food first make things better or worse what should we do but it's all simulated it's a fake store and the thing is with this fake store we can actually watch a lot of things you might have it where you bring customers in just to kind of see how they shop and you track where are they looking when are they stopping where do we see the bottlenecks in our store setup right you might have that but of course it's a simulated market it's not a real store because you're going into a real Aldi or real Walmart you're shopping very different than when you go to a simulated one where there's actually tons of people at the register and there's people that want to help you 
you don't have that in the real world, right? So it's simulated, it's not always necessarily the real world kind of stuff. So that's why you might do what's called a controlled test market. And in a controlled test market, you might hire, I don't know, three, four, five, whatever stores to carry your product. You're like, look, carry our product, sell it, let us know how it goes, okay? So it's controlled in terms that it's a controlled in terms of where it's being sold, and then you can have them sell your products, and you ask what sold well, what didn't sell well, what were the questions people had, and then we can gain that information from them, and then we can expand bigger, right? But it's more of a controlled, like little few stores kind of thing. Now, another one you can look at is what we just call a standard test market. With a standard test market, Market, you're going for a bigger layout, right? It's basically we're going to be test marketing this in, you know, Champaign, Illinois. We're going to test market this just in New York City, or we're just going to test market this in Minneapolis. And it's just one city. And what you're going to do is you'll have, you know, your advertising campaign, you'll have your promotion campaign, products will be out there so people can buy it, but no one else outside of that region can, outside that test market. So it kind of gives you a small representation of what it would be like if it's out there in the real market. I know when, uh, when I went to college, the town I was in was very popular for McDonald's to test market different sandwiches. And I'd be like, oh, this one's really good. It was like a, it was like a Royale with cheese, I guess you'd say, uh, a quarter pounder, but it had like mayonnaise and all the other like lettuce and tomato and all this I'm like this is great and when I go to other towns I come visit my parents here and I'm like I go to McDonald's like yeah I need this and they're like we don't carry that I'm like what how do you not have it it's amazing because it's only in that one standard test market you have that but what's cool if you could get that small test market and you can kind of control the promotion side of thing the advertising all those kind of things it can really help out to give you an idea of this is how it worked in a town of this size so you can kind of scale that up or scale that back to give us an idea because the thing is you do want to test market a lot of times to make sure you're selling your product right or maybe having your product in the right light in terms of how people perceive it or sometimes just making sure you got the lettuce and tomato in the right order just to get the most taste for what people prefer so i hope this helps you know a bit more about market testing again we've got plenty of videos on whether to market test versus not market testing and all kinds of stuff when it comes to new product development also coming into marketing research there's all kinds of stuff to help you out so hit that subscribe button and you'll have a lot more marketing videos to help you anyway i'll say bye from here in the small, cute town of Quincy. Bye.